What do we have to review this time, Dane? We DJ. Have, we have the Calavipo egg. Baltic yeah. Porter from Cigar City that Johnny got on his little trippity trip down to Florida. Oh, Florida. It was supposedly for mm, softball, but yeah. I believe it was really to buy beer, wasn't it, it? Yeah, it was to make that Cigar City trip. Yes. It's got a cool label on it, and when we popped the top on it, it smelled really good. It smelled like what? It smelled like tobacco. It did. It was. It was kind of. We were kind of confused. Thought maybe it was the Humidor series from Cigar City, which it ended up not being. Because why? It is their thousand. The celebrate their thousandth batch. Yes, yeah, a commemorative beer, as it were. Yes. So, you can see it's a really dark beer. It's a lager, um, uh, surprisingly. Now a lot of these Baltic porters. As is um, Dominion's Porter, or Old Dominion Brewery, um, who used to be in Ashburn, Virginia, but moved to Dover, Delaware. Now they're basically the pariah in Virginia. Anyway, theirs is also a lager. Theirs is a 7% lager and 25 IBUs. This is a 9% lager, and I looked and geeked out even further than Johnny did because he wrote the oh, notes. It's a, this, is a 35, this is a 35 IBU. Ooh. Yeah. Where did so, you... um, the bitterness units in this you don't really feel anyway because it's not about the hops. It's about coffee and caramel and those dark roasty sort of bitter flavors, not hops. Um, overall, I thought this was a pretty decent beer. Um, it wasn't blown well. I'd say it wasn't blowing my hair back, but as you guys can see, I have no hair. It wasn't blowing Johnny's hair back because he's got enough for both of us. Ooh. He has traitors, I have defectors. Anyways, that's another story of genetics. Um, this, the alcohol is really well hidden in this beer. Um, it's toffee and coffee and caramel forward to me. Um, it has a nice coffee finish and overall, I'm gonna give it a B plus myself. That's, I mean, it wasn't an awesome beer. I drank it again, but I, I don't know if I'd seek it out. It's, it's really good and what do you think, Johnny? Uh, yeah, I just wasn't overly impressed with it out of the bottle. Um, just didn't really know how to describe it. Uh, the coffiness was there, but it just didn't really wow me like uh, any other porter would. Um, so I, I do have to say I give it a B plus again. Probably wouldn't seek it out, but it'd probably be pretty hard to seek out since it's probably like a commemorative like batch. <laughs> brewed so, once. <laughs> brewed once. Uh, maybe on their 2000th batch they'll maybe do a little bit better. Um, although I do have to say I, have, I enjoyed their Highlight and uh, their Maduro and their Tobacco Red. Um, this one, you know, I would definitely put behind those three uh, in terms of what Cigar City has, has produced, but I've got a whole bunch more in the refrigerator. John's got a, a shelf about ready to break. <laughs> That's Cigar, Cigar City. Cigar City. This has lightened the load of his poor refrigerator <laughs> shelf a little bit. Yeah. And don't get us wrong, this was a good beer. It was a good beer. The thing I didn't like about it, I didn't like the carbonation in it. It's a lager and it's that higher carbonation. That's what I don't like about the Dominion version also. But you know what? This said, I'm gonna jam it anyway. This is oh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this is yeah, I didn't. This is not um, Ray Beer gave this a 98. No. No. Um, Beer no. Advocate gave it an 88. I that's, was, yeah, B plus is that's fine. That's more with like me. it. That's that's a solid rating. Yeah. So, anyways, I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna join you, and we'll both sacrifice together. <sighs> yeah. I guess. I guess we're gonna have to get another beer now. We're gonna have to I, sacrifice. Yeah, I sacrifice again for the good of mankind. We're doing this this for you guys. Think Go locally, to. drink locally. Exactly. <laughs> Until the next review. Beer time. Ho, ho. Well, it's not Christmas, so I want to throw a call. We're back. We've got. Something I brought when DJ was a little bit trash gone with the wind. Destroyed? Destroyed, yes. I brought over some clown shoes and he's been hoarding it since March. That was all the way back at the May. Maryland Craft Beer Festival. Yes, we got a date on the bottle, March yes. 2012. 
Clown Shoes, A Vampire Slayer. It's about time Mr. Patterson and Miss whatever her name is finally been slayed. Eclipse, Full Moon, whatever those stupid movies were. Dusk, Twilight, whatever. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Twilight, yeah. yeah. So, like I said, Vampire Slayer from Ipswich, Massachusetts. It's American Double Imperial Stout. Um, 10% ABV. I don't know if my nose is working, but um, the only thing I could really get out of it were subtleness of smokiness, smoke malt. And according to Greg and a whole bunch of others that we've been watching on this, they all seem to agree. It's smokiness. I, I agree too. So, um, I guess it's it's more of a subtle in the way of the aromas in this. Uh, of course, the wife and DJ, they could smell a lot more. I don't know. They must have picked their nose clear to the <laughs> passage. I don't know. But um, I, I just couldn't find anything else. However, the taste, which was... Mm, this has been sitting for a while. Uh, I can't, I, I pick up a lot of smokiness. I pick up coffee, um, some toffee, chocolate, but um, you know, a lot, to me it's a very nice smoky beer. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, to me, it's hard to say. I have to give it probably an A minus. Uh, I don't know why, but it just I've had a little bit better than this. But Clown Shoes has has not disappointed me. Brown Angel has definitely been one of my big ones. Clementine, it's been it's been, been another good one. So Beer Advocate gives it 93. Right beer, it's always 99. I'm probably more on the beer advocate side, 93, A minus. Of course, I never seem to get those in school. Um, <laughs> but uh, as a teacher of beer, it's an A minus. Uh, I got my beer dogs. They seem to have enjoyed it. They're pretty collapsed now. What do you think, DJ? I mean, I, I really liked it. Out of the nose, I mean, when you pour it into the glass, this beer is pitch black, guys. If you take a look at this, what I've, I've got left in the glass... He's got a lot more. He's been nursing. I've been nursing on this one. This one's pitch black. No lights coming through that beer. He um, needs a nipple for that glass. Exactly. Excellent excellent glass lacing. Awesome amount of alcohol legs on this. Now it's a 10% sipper. And we've been drinking more than one 10% sippers tonight. Um, so that's why I'm working this 10% sipper low. But Johnny's been the overachiever on this one. But... Out of the nose, I got coffee and caramel and toffee and dark fruits and that smoke that Johnny's talking about. Um, it's a really complex beer and it's a lot better to me when it warms up. When it's cold, it's like you get that straight coffee taste. That's all the in the char and smoke. That's all you get. Coffee, you like really super dark roasted coffee. And I say all in all, you know, it's mouth. It's got a nice sticky mouth feel like a stout should have. It's not thin or anything like that. It's it's a it's a really solid beer, and I'm gonna give it the A minus too. I'm gonna give it like a you know a, yeah. Well, we won't give numbers. Johnny gets upset with numbers, but I'll give it. The, there the dogs going for it. But I'll, I'll give it a. That beer, you're not 21 yet. Yes, I'm gonna give it an A minus also, kind of like the rate beer number is, and all, if it's a really solid beer, and I would definitely have it again. And this is something that I think if you sell it, maybe give it a couple years, it would be even better than it is now. Because it, it is bottle conditioned also. Well, it's their second anniversary ale. Uh, I don't think they made any more of these. I think they're still brewing them. Yeah, it could be. I mean, um, it's, it was such a hit, and they're such a young brewery. They're, they're a gypsy brewer is what they are. Actually, what's interesting is if you go to their website and you can vote for their brewers, I voted for Brown Angel. It finished like halfway down the list. The Vampire Slayer, 250 votes, 13% of the vote. Mm -hmm. hands, hands down. So, uh, you know, definitely is one of their better brews amongst you guys out there in beer world land. And, um, you know, I have to finish this. This is what, the fifth porter stout of the night? It's been a it's big been beer a night. Beautiful night. 
And there's just no better way to finish it than drinking some clown juice. I'm going to slay Robert Patterson. The Vampire Slayer. <laughs> so remember guys, like we always say. Drink eh. locally, think locally. No, no, no. <laughs> Hold on. Easy there, baby. <laughs> oh God! Drink locally, think no. globally. Whatever. Think globally, drink locally, support the craft beer movement, keep this shizit growing, and until always, what's that, Johnny? What do we give him? A big what? He's thinking. It's a test. It's a big peace, peace out. out.